Welcome to the IM2 video lecture here. This is for Delta Math. I'm going over the solution for finding, increasing, or decreasing domain. Here we have a parabola and it asks us to determine the domain of which of the following function is increasing. So where here is that increasing and the domain only looks at the x value. Okay, so let's see where it increased. So let's take a look. I have the image here on um, the um, paint, and I saw that it is increasing all the way from here. So it's increasing, right? It's increasing, increasing, right? That's what I mean by increasing. Increasing, increasing, is increasing, right? Increasing, 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 stops here at zero, then it starts to decrease. Right, so it seems like it was increasing all the way from what? From negative infinity all the way to what? Zero. Okay, so it goes from negative infinity all the way to zero, and we want to close it, we want to open it on both sides. Remember, this is only looking at the x value, and the x value here is negative infinity, right? goes all the way here it was increasing all the way up to the value of zero so that's our answer let's plug that in goes from negative negative infinity all the way to uh, did we say zero it was was it zero was it zero no it was not zero it was negative one look it's not zero it's negative one do you see negative one negative one so it goes all the way to negative one so it goes all the way into negative one okay negative one all right so let's do that here from negative infinity all the way to negative one and we saw that it was open on both sides so make sure you include that hit submit and that is correct you saw that the function is increasing and it goes from all the way from negative infinity all the way to negative one okay good job let's do do the next problem okay find the domain in which this function is increasing so we have this on paint we're looking for where the function is increasing so let's zoom in we saw that the object here was increasing so it goes up. Do you see how it's going up here? Up, 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 up. So it keep increasing, increasing, right? Increasing. Oh, it stops here. Here. So this is when it stops. And we saw that it stops here at negative three. So it stops here at zero, right? This is where it stops. Then it becomes decrease, 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 decrease. So it was increasing all the way from negative infinity all the way to the value of negative three because that's where it became zero right that's where it stopped before you start going back down to becoming negative so the answer is negative infinity comma negative three and they're both open so it's parentheses so parentheses negative infinity comma negative three and we close the parentheses. Good. So let's submit our answer. Good. Let's look for a new problem. Uh, let's look for a decreasing one. Oop. Decrease. Good. So let's do this one. We're going to look where it's decreasing. So we saw that it was decreasing as we are going down it is decreasing so decreasing 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 decrease 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 then it hits the value of zero right doesn't go anywhere now then it starts increasing increase 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 right so the question asks is only for where it's decreasing so it decreased all the way from here we're looking at the domain only so we're only looking at the x values. So here it goes all the way from negative 10, blah, 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 goes on forever. So it came from negative infinity all the way to this value here where it stopped, which was four. 
before it starts increasing again. Do you see that? So it's negative infinity comma four. So we would say it came from open negative infinity comma four. And we hit submit. That's our answer. Okay, so did you see it decrease, decrease, decrease until the value of four? No problem. Let's do another decreasing one. All right, let's do this one where this is decreasing. So where is it decreasing? Well, here it was increasing. Increase, 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 increase. Seems like it stopped right here at zero. Then it starts decreasing, decrease, 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 decrease. So what is this value here that it is increasing up to, uh, that, that it stops at? Well, it looks like it's the value of six. So from the value of six, and it goes back down this way, goes all the way to positive infinity. This is when it was decreasing. Right, so we would say it's open here at six and goes all the way to, oh, it doesn't go to infinity. Look, it stops. So you see how it stops here? So it only stops here at 13. So it's open here at six and it's closed here at 13. Okay. So it is from six. So it's open at six and it's closed at 13. Let's submit. And there you go, that's correct. All right? You can write it in um, inequality or interval notation, which is down there. All right? So there you go. That is how you find increasing and decreasing domains.